CBS News covers the world next. It's 2 o'clock. CBS News. I'm Tom Foti. The Republican presidential frontrunner was supposed to hold a rally at the University of Illinois in Chicago Friday night. That did not happen. What did? Angry words and confrontations between pro and anti-Trump groups. This is Dean Reynolds in Chicago, where a political rally had to be canceled tonight as tensions gave way to violence. It was supposed to have been a rally for Donald Trump, the arena filled with Trump supporters and a large number of Trump protesters. Tensions began to escalate. The rally was abruptly called off before the candidate ever took to the stage. That announcement touched off the worst of the unrest. Dean Reynolds, CBS News, Chicago. Trump later phoned into Fox News. Think of it, you're not even allowed... In a peaceful rally, you can't even have a peaceful rally today in a major city in the United States, which is which is a terrible thing. Police reported five arrests, one of them apparently our CBS News digital journalist Sopan Deb, who has since been released. This is CBS News. Tom Foti, CBS News. This is Chicago's all news station. News Radio 780 and 105.9 FM and CBSChicago.com. WBBM News, Tom 205. Good morning, Saturday, March the 12th. I'm David Rowe in Chicago this morning. Mostly cloudy skies, 36 degrees, a south wind at 5, a wind chill of 32. AccuWeather says increasingly cloudy early this morning, low 33. Later today, mostly cloudy, mild to high 60, cooler near the lakefront. Our top local story on News Radio WBBM as you Heard from CBS News, Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump says he didn't want to see people hurt or worse at his campaign rally at uh, the UIC Pavilion in Chicago last night. So he decided to postpone the event. Trump told MSNBC in a telephone interview that he thought they did the right thing at the rally last night at the UIC Pavilion was called off due to a security concern. Supporters and protesters alike in apparently almost equal numbers had packed into a, the campus arena. And for the first time during the billionaire businessman's White House run, as we say, they were apparently in equal number. WBBM Steve Miller covered the protests outside the pavilion by both supporters and opponents of Trump. Protesters declared victory outside the UIC pavilion after Trump canceled his rally. Who won? We won! Who won? We won! Earlier, as Trump supporters lined up to go inside when they thought there was still going to be a rally, one protester taunted them. If you're here for Trump, you're garbage. Just so you know, if you're here for Trump, you're human garbage. Please go home. And at the end of the day, it was anti-Trump people who were celebrating. Tonight, you won. You shut Trump down. Steve Miller, News Radio on 105.9 FM.